All right, welcome back inside our proactive newsroom. And joining me now is Ali Haji. He is the CEO of Ion Energy. And Ali, good to see you again. How are you? Doing very well, Steve. Good to see you as well. Yeah, so big news out from the company that you've uh, acquired two assets uh, in the, the Northwest Territories. And and this is an interesting one because uh, these two properties are are near each other, but they're, they have some difference, some differences between them. Is that a way to say it? Yeah, absolutely. I think, uh, you know, if you look at uh, Bliss Lake, which was the acquisition that we had announced we were looking at uh, earlier this year, we finally closed on that transaction. It's uh, 5,700 hectares, about 10 kilometers uh, west, I beg your pardon, east of uh, Yellowknife, and about 20 or 15 to 20 kilometers uh, uh, between Yellowknife and uh, Lift Power as well. So we have Lift Power, we have PMET, we have uh, Gamma uh, Lithium as well in that jurisdiction. It's a known jurisdiction. Work having been done there since uh, the uh, 70s, of course, makes it a very interesting uh, area for us to explore. Bliss Lake is greenfield. Uh, we've seen outcrops on surface that are rather promising. Uh, but of course, you know, uh, closing on a transaction this late in the summer and having assets so far up north, uh, it's kind of impossible to beat the snow. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we're going to have to wait until next year until we do some work on Bliss Lake. Uh, and then for our second acquisition is the Little Nahani Triangle. That's about 900 hectares. It's adjacent to Lake Wind Resources. Uh, it's just south of uh, Lift Power's asset there as well. Uh, it is, again, once uh, once again, a proven uh, district with uh, dikes and, and, and uh, swarms uh, that are visible on surface. And of course, you know, Wind Lake can, has had significant uh, uh, successes with their recent exploration program, as well as, of course, the uh, uh, financing that they're announcing for four and a half billion dollars. So. Uh, we expect to be able to do some work on uh, these two projects uh, next year once the weather warms up and we're able to get out there. Uh, but of course, we're, we're looking forward to the news from our peers, uh, the very significant peers in the region that have found significant results that, of course, we'll be reporting additional results over the course of the coming quarters. You know, Ali, it seems that that a lot of the market goes that way is that someone, you know, takes an opportunity or takes a chance to go in somewhere and look at something and then they and then all of a sudden people start realizing, hey, this area is sort of having a, a rebirth, so to speak. And that's what this area that you're in is really having. Exactly. And I think, you know, in Mongolia, we're first movers in the lithium space. Uh, here we have a small advantage because we're seeing others with prominent market caps and, and very established teams finding assets of quality. Uh, of course, the mandate for Ion Energy has always been to find lithium where it might be required most. Asia being the largest consumer, Mongolia makes the most sense. And now with North America coming online in various ways, uh, it's important that we find assets in this region as well. Ali, uh, let's talk about what's coming up this fall. And we should mention to people that even though you've got these two assets that that, that you've got now, it's really filling out the portfolio because Mongolia still continues to be the number one uh, project for your company, correct? Couldn't have said it better myself. Urgak Naran is absolutely the crown jewel of the company, um, you know, spanning 29,000 hectares with very significant volume indications thus far, as well as rather large intercepts in terms of very credible grades uh, being seen through the drilling program. So what you can expect from the organization, we have uh, our qualified person heading out there uh, at the first week of September at Urgak Naran. Uh, he'll be doing some work in order to get us to inferred resource at Urgak Naran. And of course, the prospectivity of a strategic coming in after that resource indication is very high. So uh, the work is ongoing there. Nothing's being put on standstill. Uh, Urgak Naran remains our crown jewel. This simply just gives us a multi-asset, multi-jurisdiction company uh, to focus on. Makes a lot of sense. Ali, thank you so much. Great to catch up with you. And I know we're going to be talking a lot more in the fall. You'll be very busy. Thank you, Steve. Talk to you soon. All right. Ali Haji, the CEO of Ion Energy.